Hi, my name's Claire from Pressure Point. Thank you for watching today and I'm hoping if you are new, please subscribe, follow, like, share to your friends. All the videos I've got, I've got about 250 videos of content involving anatomy, muscles and bones. We're starting nerves. We've got massage techniques, deep tissue. Uh, there's loads of different stuff. So please carry on watching and subscribe. Just for this short video, we're going to be doing the hamstring muscles. I want to identify where the three are. Um, we normally think of it as a whole group together, but they are individual muscles. So it's made up of three. Um, I'm just going to draw, just to make uh, our visualization a bit easier, this point here. So I'm going to draw that. That part of the pelvis is called the ischial tuberosity. All three hamstrings attached to that bone. And then they come down across the knee because they do knee flexion. Um, so if I just draw the top of the tibia, so knee line there, draw the top of the tibia like so. And then there's a head of a fibula just around this corner. So just drawing those will make our muscle knowledge a bit better. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a halfway line. So I'm going to split the hamstring in two like so. Um, that allows me to now visualize this larger muscle towards the lateral part of the posterior thigh. This one's called the bicep femoris. So bicep femoris, as I say, all three hamstrings attach onto this bone. The bone is the ischium. The very bottom part of it is the ischial tuberosity. So we've got the tendon coming off here, but the hamstring is a huge muscle. It's the only one on this lateral part. And on my client, if we have a look, just come around this side. Here we go. Can you see that tendon there? If I get my client to kind of do a bit of a heel, that's it, bring your heel to your bottom. Perfect. There, relax. And you can see that tendon's heading towards that bony landmark. What's that bony landmark called? That's the head of the fibula. So that's one end of it. If you're there sat um, at a computer or you're sat down somewhere, just have a little feel as you're sat at the back of your knee and you will feel that really thick tendon um, just towards that lateral part. So bicep femoris is here, like so. Okay, and the word bicep means two heads. So it has two attachments. It has one up here on the ischial tuberosity and it has another attachment deep on the femur, uh, which you can't, well, I could draw just like that maybe to help remind you. So there's one on the femur, there's one on the ischial tuberosity, and the other end, the insertion, the more movable end of the muscle, attaches onto that head of the fibula. So bicep femoris, femoris relates to the femur. Okay, let's go to the other two. Now, on the medial side of the hamstring, we've got two muscles. One muscle is deeper, so it lies deeper, it's slightly bigger, and then you have the other muscle lying on top of it. So if I draw the deep one first, uh, what colour should we do that? Let's try that in yellow. So I'm drawing the semimembranosis. The semimembranosis is a wider muscle. Okay, it fills that gap. There's no gaps between the hamstrings. And the semimembranosis comes down here and attaches on to the posterior tibial condyle here. All right, let's bend the knee again. You will see, you can see actually, the stringy tendon, that stringy tendon is the tendinosis, and that carries on around the corner. The membranosis, whether we can see it or not, is a thicker one underneath, which is the one I'm drawing now. So semi-membranosis, the fibres are coming down. Draw with the other side of the pen this way. Okay, and it's got that attachment on the back of the tibia. And then the final hamstring muscle we're going to draw is the semi-tendinosis. Same attachment point at the top. What's this one called? Ischial tuberosity. It lies on top. It's a bit thinner, like so. And at the bottom, it gets a lot more stringier. We saw that little stringy tendon earlier. Stringy little tendon, and that tendon goes around the corner, and it attaches to a bit just on the front of the tibia, called the pes anserinus. So if you have a look at the knee anatomy video or the quad video, you'll see me point that out to you so it's a bit clearer. So just to recap, 
Hamstrings are made of three muscles. The big chunky one on the outside is the bicep femoris attaching to the head of fibula. The two on the inside are the semi-muscles, semi-membranosis, semi-tendinosis, all attaching ischial tuberosity. Membranosis is thicker underneath, back of the tibia. Tendinosis is slightly smaller, skinnier, lies on top, and the stringy tendon goes around the corner and attaches onto the pes anserinus. So go away and learn your hamstring muscles. Very useful.